Good day and happy January 2nd to you all. Today is day two of my daily vlogging challenge. Um, now, I didn't set a time frame for this challenge. How long do you think I should challenge myself with this for? Uh, one month? Three months? So, me being myself, I immediately get way too excited and I'm like, one whole year of daily vlogging, 365 days. I don't think that's super realistic. So, I think what I'm gonna do is go for three months. I think three months of daily vlogging will be pretty solid. And if I think I can continue after that, I will. So, here's hoping. Now, on to today's episode. Tonight, I will be bringing a little touch of downtown Disney into the home by recreating one of the signature dishes at Ralph Brennan's Jazz Kitchen. This dish is the barbecue shrimp and grits. The barbecue is a New Orleans style, New Orleans, if you're from New Orleans. <laughs> their style of the shrimp and grits. So this recipe is on their website, which is super cool. A lot of restaurants don't put their recipes on their website, so I love that. And the website is rbjazzkitchen.com. So if you like New Orleans style food, if you like the Jazz Kitchen at Downtown Disney, you should check it out. I hope you have fun watching us and helping us recreate this dish. So I would just like to add real quick that I am really sorry for the video going out this morning instead of last night. Um, I feel like I was already failing the challenge, uh, but I was editing late last night um, before and after making the Jazz Kitchen dish. And the uploading on YouTube, I don't know what's going on. If you guys know at all, please tell me but it is taking like four hours to upload a 20 minute video and I have a new computer I mean it, it should be going pretty smoothly um, producing the video on my editing software is doing just fine but I think YouTube is going slower for whatever reason maybe a lot of people are on YouTube and just kinda overloading for the holidays I, I don't know but uh, anyway I just wanted to apologize for that so instead of a video coming out yesterday and today, there will be two videos coming out today. So, all right, let's make the delicious food, shall we? All right, so let's get started here. The first thing that we're gonna do is create our own Creole seasoning. We're gonna mix all of these dry ingredients together in this mixing bowl here. If you have your own Creole seasoning that you'd like to use, that's totally fine. We're just gonna do it as much of the Ralph Brennan way as we can. So this is how he makes his Creole seasoning. So first we're going to put paprika in it. The ingredients list says sweet paprika. We only had smoked paprika, so we're gonna use that. And this is a half a cup of, of paprika. I almost said sweet paprika. <laughs> half a cup of smoked paprika for us. And here we have a quarter cup of salt, one tablespoon of freshly ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of onion powder. So we're going to toss that in there as well. And then here we have a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of oregano, and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And the last ingredient is going to be thyme. It's going to be one teaspoon of thyme. Isn't that a beautiful rainbow demographic in there? All right, so we're going to mix this all together. I'm just going to take a little whisk here, get it all mixed in. Oh my gosh, this has made us sneeze like 10 times already. <laughs> it smells so good though. That looks pretty mixed up. I think we're good with that. And this Creole seasoning will be good in an airtight container for about three months or so. Okay, and we need to grate one tablespoon of Parmesan. I don't have like a cheese grater, so I use a zester but I actually prefer this because I like very finely 
grated cheese. The next ingredient for the grits that we're going to get ready is the andouille sausage. We chose smoked andouille sausage, well chicken sausage that is, from Trader Joe's. Um, you can really use any kind of andouille sausage I feel like you want to. I have also used Cajun andouille before and that was also delicious. Okay, so the recipe calls for a quarter pound andouille sausage in the grits. Um, this is what we did because this package is 12.8 ounces and there are four sausages. So, I mean, this is three quarters of a pound. I got one of those four sausages and took a little more of a second one. Yeah. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's not like we actually I, I weighed it, a, but yeah, exactly. I don't think you need to. And I really think you just... Add it's really however much personal preference. Exactly. You add however much sausage you feel you want in your grits. So the recipe says to cut the sausage into cubes. To cube the sausage basically, but we just call it bite size. Okay, and to cook our grits in, we are going to use chicken stock. It says to use three cups of low sodium chicken stock. Three. Okay, so first to start our grits we are going to saute the sausage. We have six tablespoons of unsalted butter and we're gonna put our sausage in there too with it and we're gonna saute it all up together. The recipe does call for sauteing sausage and onions together. Uh, we are opting to not use onions. We are not onion fans. <laughs> I mean, we do like it for flavor, but we're just not going to do the onions this time. But I just wanted to point out that the actual recipe does call for onions at this point. I also wanted to mention that the recipe says to do this over medium heat. I have to admit, Russell, doesn't this look kind of gross? We're sauteing sausage and butter <laughs> mm. oh man yeah if you're Sauteing on a diet <laughs> fat and fat. no this is not a diet dish <laughs> this is an indulgence dish this would be a cheat day dish for sure so if we had onion in here it says to cook until the onion is soft and translucent since we don't have onion we're just going by our eyeballs here and this looks good for us. I think it's the butter's cooked down enough. The, you know, sausage looks a little bit darker in color. So I think we're going to add our chicken stock now. Let's do that. Okay, so we're going to add our three cups of chicken stock. This is the only measuring cup I have, which is two cups. So I need to add one more cup. Okay, so we're basically going to bring this to a boil, and then we'll start adding in our grits. Okay, so we've brought the chicken stock to a boil. Now we're going to reduce it down to low heat, and we're going to whisk in our grits. You don't want to really dump it like all at the same time, you want to just kind of Mix it as you dump it. Okay. So we're going to stir this occasionally. Make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom at all. But this is going to take about 10 to 12 minutes. So we'll see you in about 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, I almost forgot to add that you do want to cover it at this point. Alright, so our grits are done thickening, and now we are going to whisk in the cream and cook uncovered for three to five minutes more. Alright, perfect. Alright, so uncovered three to five minutes, and we're going to leave it in the low heat setting. 
All right, we cooked this for the three to five minutes that it asks for. We did four minutes. It's looking good. And now we're going to do the finishing touches for the grits. We're going to add in the Parmesan. Whisk that around. And it says to add just a touch of salt for taste. And voila! Now let's move on to the shrimp. Okay, so we're about to start our shrimp. Here we are, we got our shrimp. We chose to get already cooked and deveined shrimp. We have our lemon, our Creole seasoning that we created earlier, our unsalted butter, Worcestershire sauce, freshly ground black pepper, and minced garlic. So it says to just combine everything, but we're going to start with the butter first. And we do need this on high heat. Spread around a little bit. Okay. And then we are going to do the Worcestershire sauce. pepper and garlic I don't want the gar or the pepper or garlic for that matter to burn so I'm going to make sure it's the butter is covering it to protect it and the chicken stock Okay now we're going to add our shrimp Now we're going to add our Creole seasoning. It says minimum of one teaspoon, so we're going to choose to do two because I love seasoning. And now we're going to do one half lemon squeezed over the shrimp. Now in the restaurant they actually take this lemon and they grill it over a fire and uh, put that on the dish for you but we don't have a grill so we're just gonna squeeze it and leave it at that okay so we cooked the shrimp on high for two minutes we flipped them over and now we're supposed to reduce the heat down to medium and it says to add the butter now we added the butter in the beginning because that's kinda how we like to cook it and when you're only cooking it for a few minutes it really doesn't matter too much but normally you would reduce the heat to medium and add the butter and just kind of melt the butter, swirl it around, and you're ready to go. It's dinner time. Okay, now we're dishing up. The sauce has thickened a little bit. The best part about this dish is that New Orleans barbecue sauce, by the way. Delicious. All right, so that concludes the end of the cooking show thank you for joining us it's a very good show very good show um we hope that you try this and i'm glad that we could help bring a little bit of downtown disney to you have a good night